Hi, my name is Brian Donaldson. I'm the upper elementary principal at the American School of Doha. The data dashboard has been a fantastic tool for our teachers. Uh, first and foremost, it keeps the emphasis on multiple pieces of evidence uh, of student learning. Obviously, we have our, our, our map testing data in there. Uh, in addition, we have the developmental reading assessment with the accompanying uh, grade level benchmarks and five uh, power standards, if you will. We have uh, three from language arts, two from mathematics, and then we also have some important um, social skills and work habits that teachers wanted to keep a, a close eye on. Um, all of those go together along with the words their way, so we have multiple pieces of evidence when we're looking at a student. Um, we use that information quite a bit um, throughout the year. We have ongoing meetings with teachers. Ours are coming up here in February where we'll sit down with the classroom teacher and we'll go over the data that's in their data dashboard from the first trimester and from the fall and winter map testing and the developmental reading assessment. Um, this information is super important. Uh, we use it at child study team all the time. When we have a student, we call up their data dashboard and look at their, their, their data. Um, and teachers found it particularly helpful at the beginning of the school year that they had a wealth of information they could call on from the year before. And they really got a head start on groupings, et cetera, because they were able to look and see um, multiple measures of how um, a child was doing. Um, those are some of the ways that we're using the data dashboard um, here at ASD. And um, we're going to see how the tool progresses uh, with time. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gail C., Director of Teaching and Learning here at the American School of Doha. Um, we have entered into a partnership with IDP and with the help of Brian Bedrick have um, worked on putting together a dashboard around our professional learning. Now I believe that the silver bullet would be if we can have a look at the correlation between professional learning and student learning. So we're working on putting some pieces together that will give us some information and some data around that. We're asking teachers to apply for their professional learning through the data dashboard um, where we get the applications in. We're also asking them to be able to give us reflection and feedback on that professional learning after they have attended a consultant or an event uh, or conference. And one of the things we're asking is what impact do you think this will have on actually your instruction in the classroom and again, student learning. Um, it's anecdotal at this point, but we feel it's a step in the right direction in terms of being able to look at the value added impact of uh, the professional learning. So being able to house that data on the dashboard, I think is going to be really beneficial to us in the future as we look at the benefits of the professional learning. The other thing we're using the dashboard for is to be able to look over time at our professional learning, the consultants that we've engaged with, and how teachers have interacted um, and the professional learning profiles that our teachers have. Um, at the end of each year, we are able to print out a professional learning profile for each teacher in our school. It also allows principals to go in and have a look at those teachers who are engaging with the professional uh, learning opportunities um, and have conversations with their professional growth and, and um, collaboration um, process that they do with their principals. So I think it, it'll add to the conversation and be able to give teachers evidence to, to say what they have done with their professional learning for the year. So we're in the infant steps with it right now. We, we know that it's going to be um, helpful to us as we move our professional learning program forward.